Welcome back. Excuse me for having a bit of a break. I've been very, very busy. So I've been trying to build Cloud Context up as a business, as a managed service provider, as a service provider in Australia, in Sydney, supplying to all around Australia. And we are growing. We are hiring. I've hired a couple of new guys and we looks good. So excuse me for being a bit absent on YouTube, but I am back. I'm back to help you guys out and let's sort of get moving for the year. So excuse the office. I'm actually going to actually move office this time. It's going to be a little while, but that means that I'm not going to actually do anything in this office anymore. I'm actually going to move houses. So I'm going to move houses and have my own office. I'm going to set up an office there from scratch. Actually, let me know in the comment section below if you're interested in seeing how I'm going to set up that office. I feel like uh, I've got a lot to do to set up a nice office for me to be able to film videos in and for me to work from. But I would like to hear what you guys think. What should I put in that office? As usual, if you are liking the content, please like and subscribe. Channel is growing. It has grown a lot in the past year. I appreciate everyone who likes the videos, everyone that subscribes. Thank you very much. If you haven't, please do so. So while I've been building the business, while I've been sitting there and growing the business and speaking to people and growing relationships and networking and just sort of branching out, I have probably missed a few things in Microsoft land. Once I did put that job ad out, I noticed that the certifications were very different from what I had seen in the past couple of years. So I sort of stopped and had a look at the Microsoft certifications and there is a lot of new stuff out there. So it looks to me like Microsoft have actually broken up a lot of exams. So they've realized that they're lumping a lot of content into one exam or into one certification. And when I say a lot of content, I mean a lot of different type of tech that looks like it's just been lumped into that one exam so that they could cover it all. But now it actually looks like they've broken it down. I've noticed that there is a lot more exams and certifications on things that were once upon a time contained in a different exam, which is awesome because that means that you can really focus on something. It also means that the job market is growing in those certain stacks. So today I thought maybe we'll go through some of those certifications, some of those exams, and I'll give you a bit of a rundown of what I think is a good certification to have, where you might actually see that certification required, and if it'll actually help you land a job. Today we'll just go through the Microsoft Azure ones. There is so many certifications and exams that I probably can't cover them all in one video. But if you want me to cover anything specifically or anything 365 related, let me know in the comment section below. I don't really want to make the video for nothing. So let me know if you do want me to actually cover those topics. So as probably most of you know, Microsoft released these certifications. So they'll have like a certification and then you'll need one or two exams to actually get that certification. Now, one thing that I have realized with Microsoft, a lot of the time they'll release the certification. So they'll say, you know, Azure Architect certification and it will have one exam attached to it. Later on in the future, they'll add a second exam to it. So if there's a lot more content that's produced, a lot more tech that's grown within the platform, then they will add another exam. So my suggestion is get on top of it as soon as you can because it changes a lot and sometimes it actually gets harder. So let's get into it. All right, so I've already got this open which is basically the Microsoft uh, website for looking at certifications and whatnot. I already picked a few that I think would be good for you guys to have a look at. There is a lot in here that I think that we're not gonna go through all of them, but let's just look at the Azure stuff today. And then we'll go down and we'll only look at the certifications because a lot of these are one for one. So I don't know if this is a bug, but see here it tells you that the exam it tells you the exam that you need to pass to get that certification. It's a bit funny how they've written that. So I don't know if it's maybe they've missed a space. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, okay, so let's start with Microsoft Certified Security Operations Analyst Associate. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the ones that I think look new to me. And if they're not new, forgive me, but they're probably new on the market. Anyway, probably a lot of organizations don't know they exist yet. So let's go through this one first. Microsoft Certified Security Operations Analyst Associate. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through everything in detail about these exams, but basically this exam, basically this exam is there to try and get you certified to use all the products that Microsoft supply for a security operations center. So let's say, for example, you're working in a SOC or a security operations center, and they're using products like Microsoft Sentinel, Microsoft Defender for cloud, and maybe some third-party security products, which are probably going to be feeding into, you guessed it, Microsoft Sentinel, then this is probably a good exam for you or good certification for you. Now, this certification is probably gonna contain all type of content from Microsoft 365 Defender, 
Microsoft Defender for Cloud and Microsoft Sentinel. And if you scroll down here, then you will see that there is a lot of the modules you could do to really give you a solid understanding of how to use these products. I find that these learning paths, so these modules, these are actually really, really good. And if you can sit there and go through all of these modules and then maybe even do the official practice test, I think you can cover a lot of what will be in the exam. So now if we actually click on the exam itself, if I go to the exam in here and I can scroll down and we should be able to download the exam skills outline. And this will actually give you all of the skills that are measured in this exam or certificate. So we can have a look at all the things that make up this exam, which might include Microsoft 365 Defender and all the things that make up all of the content within Microsoft 365 Defender. So you guys can have a read of this yourself, but what I wanted to get at is why this might be good. So let's say you are applying for a SOC role and that SOC role is going to be utilizing a lot of Microsoft products like Sentinel and like Defender. Wouldn't it be great if you applied for the job and you already had this certificate up your sleeve? I think that's a really good idea. I think that if you are looking for that type of role, then this would be a great exam for you. Okay, Microsoft Certified Identity and Access Administrator Associate, another tongue twister. Okay, so all of these SC ones seem to be security focused. So this certification also only has one exam, which is SC300. And if we go into that, it's called the Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator exam. And you can actually also have a look in here if you are if you're wanting to see what is in the actual exam itself. Basically, it's going to teach you how to implement things like Azure AD, maybe some Azure AD B2C, implement some authentication and access management solutions like B2C, implement access management for apps, so deploying things like app registrations and application or enterprise apps, things like that, and implementing identity governance strategies. It's basically making sure that you know how to administer identity management systems like Azure AD, and that you know the ins and outs of how it works. Another great one if you're like some type of system administrator or maybe even if you are looking to get into a security role, really understanding identity management is a really good way to get into security, obviously because you understand how people authenticate, how applications authenticate, and you understand how it's secure to do so. Now, this is a good one that I noticed the other day as well, which was the Azure Cyber Security Architect one. Where did it go? Okay. Where are you, Azure Security? Here we go. At Microsoft Certified Cybersecurity Architect Expert. Uh, this is a really cool one. Actually, I'm gonna do this one as well. So it looks like there is one of four prereqs for this. So you have the Security Operations Analyst Associate, you have the Identity and Access Administrator Associate, Azure Security Engineer Associate. I think I have that one, so it should be okay to apply for this one. And this one as well, Security Administrator for 365. And then you could do this exam, which will lend you another certification. And this exam is to basically confirm that you have the ability to architect a cybersecurity solution in Microsoft Azure. So it tells you here, we're gonna be able to design a zero trust strategy and architecture, that's pretty cool. Evaluate governance risk compliance, GRC, technical strategies and security operation strategies. I like this, I really like this exam. Design security for infrastructure, that is something I think everyone needs to understand better, how to incorporate security when you are architecting solutions. And design a strategy for data and applications. It doesn't really say security there, but I'm sure it's design security strategies for data and application. Now, this one is one that I really think you should do if you are doing anything Azure related. I think that this being a new one and using buzzwords like cybersecurity, and being an architect for cybersecurity is really going to give you that authority on paper, the authority on paper to actually go out and consult on this type of stuff and to actually build solutions. Now, having the authority on paper is great. Making sure you have the skills in real life is also much needed. I don't think you should have one without the other, but if you do have some skill in building a security solution in Microsoft Azure, then this is the certification for you. It's still in beta. Beta means you take the exam, you don't get your results, you'll probably get them in a few weeks. Sometimes it takes, I don't know, 30 days, sometimes it takes 60 days to get your results. But I do believe there is some type of discount if you take beta exams. So do it now if you're interested and if you have one of those prerequisites. It's one that I really recommend.
So there's even one for fundamentals, security, compliance, and identity fundamentals. I think this is great for someone who maybe isn't on the tools, maybe isn't designing everything, but maybe they are a student or maybe they are even a business user or a, maybe a CIO or maybe a CEO that might be, have a strong interest in cybersecurity or that really wants to understand how to secure their Microsoft Azure solution better. I think doing something like the fundamentals is an awesome idea. I think it's really good idea before you actually do anything inside Microsoft Platform, whether someone is doing it for you or you've got internal teams doing it, I think it's a great idea for you to understand what they are actually implementing and what better way to do that than to have a fundamental certification. I think a lot of this certification will just be describing the capabilities, oh, here you go, describing the capabilities of Microsoft Identity and Access Management Solutions, describing capabilities of Microsoft Security Solutions, describing capabilities of Microsoft Compliance Solutions, and describing the concepts of security, compliance, and identity. I think that is a great idea because you're gonna get a really good understanding of what those things are instead of them just being buzzwords. So if you are looking to deploy something, but you're not going to be the person deploying it, you're gonna go out and maybe get a quote for someone else to do it, or your internal teams are going to do it, then this is excellent for you. So as you can see, all the certifications actually seem to be very security related, very cyber security related, and that is because cyber security is hot right now. Microsoft is doing everything they can to stay on top of the cyber security market, and that's a great idea for you as an individual, as an employee, as a company owner, to actually be on top of it as well. So as usual, if you are liking the content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.